residents in Sierra Vista still on high alert tonight. You would think this is the reason. But actually, today crews made big progress against the Brown Fire. It is now 25% contained and has burned 240 acres. So what's the problem? A string of new, equally dangerous fires sparking throughout town because investigators believe someone just wants to watch the city burn. Nine Your Side's Maggie Vespa is just back from Sierra Vista. She joins us with the story. Maggie. Stella, we don't have to remind our viewers how dangerously dry it is out there right now. Federal and state officials are looking into this bizarre streak tonight of nearly half a dozen fires in nine hours. Investigators say they need to catch whoever is doing this before their obsession burns out of control. Chad Long didn't think anything of him. I saw someone walking out here smoking a cigarette. Minutes later, that stranger was gone and his neighbor's yard was burning. And it was just about up to the house when I got to the yard and we started throwing water on it. That call came from the 3800 block of Sparrow Drive around 945 last night. Firefighters didn't have long to rest. Moments later, flames erupted near the intersection of Wilcox and Lensner, then at 1045 near Lensner and Golf Links, across from this middle school. By the time investigators arrived here last night, they knew these fires couldn't be a coincidence. Little did they know, they were not alone. At that point, we started tying it all together. That includes two more fires near Route 92 and Kings Ranch Road earlier that afternoon. And finally, around a quarter to midnight at Ramsey Canyon, mere miles from the still burning Brown Fire. Can you wrap your mind around why somebody would want to be doing this with these conditions and with what's going on at Brown Canyon? You know, the truth is, it's so hard to understand, but we understand that that uh, attempt to seek that notoriety comes out in times like this. And uh, we. We suspect that uh, an individual or a small group of individuals are doing this, and hopefully our police departments can take care of it. Remember, the Brown Fire was also classified as human caused. At this point, investigators say they have no reason to believe that fire is linked to these. And the man that Chad Long described, investigators are looking into that lead. Live in the newsroom, I'm Maggie Vespa. Kega Na on your side.